गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज जी वी शिव कुमार हेयर सो होप एवरी एवरीबडी इज फाइन एक्चुअली टुडे इन टुडे इज वीडियो एक्चुअली एज पर अवर फ्रेंड्स रिक्वेस्ट इन मेल एज वेल एज द कमेंट सेक्शन आई वुड लाइक टू प्रिपेर द वीडियो ऑन एस ए पी एक्सलेटेड एस ए पी प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट राइट एक्चुअली दिस आई थिंक एक्चुअली एवरी आई एम सींग लॉट ऑफ वीडियोज इन यूट्यूब बट आई मीन दोज आर नॉट I mean, in the uh, macro or micro level uh, explanation, right? Actually, so I, as per our request from the friends, I would like to prepare a video which gives a very minute detail on the SAP project management or yeah, uh, methodology implementation methodology uh, where SAP uh, practiced in the olden days, right? Those days, actually, when I entered SAP in 2004. And, and and those period actually accelerated sap is one of the best methodology sap is suggesting okay before before the solution manager tool asap methodology is the practice best practice one and now we have lot of uh, tool i mean uh, thing is there i agile and then based on agile actually we have uh, sap activate project management so the phases can be reduced to four whereas in asap actually we have uh, five different uh, phases right so what is accelerated sap accelerated sap is nothing but uh, yeah, i mean a yeah, systematic approach to uh, uh, implement sap as per the guidance given by the uh, sap okay so there are five phases in that what are they so uh, project preparation that is the first phase second thing blueprint preparation phase and then for realization uh, realization phase fourth one final preparation and the fifth phase is go live and support and now actually we have post go live support is also there okay so the go live support after the go live actually we have warranty yeah. support uh, uh, kind of thing actually the, uh, each people will in each company they will uh, uh, tell actually different different wordings actually so to uh, express the uh, i mean the after go live support right so uh let me uh, explain uh, say for example actually uh, your uh, pre sales team bid bid team and the business analyst team uh, or a programmer analyst team or business consultant team actually uh, they approached uh, the client saying that we have a enough uh, uh, pool uh, sap data pool, sap or uh, resource pool to implement sap in your company or uh as a, if it is a, if they are not having uh, i mean already uh, uh, sap already in their uh, in their uh, uh unit or if they want to migrate from ecc to s4 hana or if they want to do a version upgrade say for example if it is a cloud based thing 1809 to 1909 and recently we have uh, uh two two series came right so this kind of uh, approach has been done by the, by an it vendor company uh, say for a, for a client actually the it companies or uh, is a partner so i we can say it vendor right so they are we are giving consultation uh, to them so they are treating us as a vendor so so the, the the normally we have many it companies say actually we have in market ibm max venture wipro uh, infosys and then uh, tech mahindra and lot of lot of things are there so uh, so uh, cap gemini uh, cognizant uh, tata consulting services lot of it vendors are there and actually they are keep on they are having their internal team to uh, uh, to uh, internal team to get a project by approaching the client right actually whatever if they say if they started a new company the client side actually they are planning to uh, implement uh, sap in their uh, location or a manufacturing plant or a procurement division or sales division or a quality division whatever it may be in a, in a, a, a totally called organization so we are implementing sap in that sense actually they will declare that we are going to implement sap so based on the results actually um, uh, i mean this it companies will uh, place their bid place their bid in the sense actually we can uh complete your project we can take the ownership and the complete the project with the minimum cost with the minimum resource and less time like that we have they have they, they will uh, give a, a i mean a projection uh, to the uh, client company so uh, how they are doing is actually they first 
get the uh, requirement gatheration so what is to be done what are the, uh, what not to be done and what is your business process everything they will analyze in a uh, streamlined way and actually they will uh, uh, after the business cons- uh, consultant or a business analyst get the requirement uh, then actually uh, it is uh, dis- it is discussed with a technical team and uh, i mean the functional team and the uh, application that is application functional team and application developer team and get their estimate so what are the uh, i can say uh, what are the rise of objects to be developed what are the delivery documents to be done and what are the test documents to be created is that they will whether they have if they say for example if they already have sap in their place so can we use the existing uh, uh, test document to be reused and the scope architecture uh, merits and demerits and then actually uh, the business overview of each model say purchasing inventory warehouse management sales production planning quality management integrated business planning extended warehouse management so each model finance uh, everything and uh, i mean cost control right so all this model which areas are to be covered and which process they are uh, working so everything will be documented after discussion with one to one discussion or through uh, a jeans call or a teams call or a webex kind of this co webex kind of thing so after that uh, say microsoft link is there so all after doing that actually they will uh, correct document it and they will share with the uh, the functional application functional application technical team they will analyze that and they will project the estimates how much cost will take how much resource we need for your project who are who is going to work in i mean uh, how many resource required for the on site purpose and how many resources can be support, can support from the offshore so uh, how many developers required how many function mo- consultants required for each module and everything right so all this can be uh, discussed right actually they will decide that and uh, discuss with the technical team and functional team and come to understanding and they will uh, do a yellow pad session yellow pad session is a uh, say for example after um, the the after the uh, rfp I mean actually after the collection actually they will uh, get the rfp uh, document from the client so so the client actually issues the rfp document agreement everything scope uh, functionalities so uh, risk and mitigation documents all these things a lot of things are there and uh, in scope out of scope all these things are there and security purpose then master data governance related thing so in sa sap as per on nowadays we have a uh, uh, master data is governed by the uh, uh, master data governance team mdg is a separate module actually they, they can uh, control the master data that is material master vendor master the gl cost center all this customer master or whatever it may be i mean production related master everything controlled by the mdg team respective team in the particular area of model so all these guys actually will uh, share the estimate and resource required how many how much cost for the on site resource and how much cost consumed for the offshore resource who is going to work from which phase to which phase so we have five different phases which phase they are going to work as say, uh, say for an uh, architect will start from the day one uh, i mean or uh, we are uh, week one till the end of the project or they are going to uh, get relieved after the uh, i can say go live right so and the junior consultant will work from which phase whether they are going to get a, a knowledge transfer from the architect or a senior consultant or a lead consultant or a a manager kind of thing and they will start working from, from the realization phase there is normally the junior consultants will they they need to get a experience right so during by doing configuration only they are able to get the requirement right normally the freshers will be freshers or a junior consultants will be as a junior consultant you will be uh, given the configuration role and then as a fresher actually they will uh, normally given uh, a document preparation thing so all the senior consultants and junior consultant will will uh, ask them to prepare a document right for a fresher so they will learn sap from that point so uh, how much resources can be required all this can be done and they will uh, do one round of yellow pad sessions there actually they can understand they will discuss with the client and get the actual uh, business process they are following is there any deviation what they understood so how much level they understood after discussing with the client everything will be documented during the call 
after the call and they it will be shared to the entire uh, team of rfe team and based on that again they will do the final discussion or a defense call right so after doing that they will uh, get uh, actually common understanding with the client if the client satisfies our so say client will have some gaps open gaps which is, which are to be identified by the uh, itt it vendor team so a consultant of i mean a, a stream of uh, experienced consultants so they after providing solution whether the solution will be i mean the discussions will be uh, or the solution provided will be discussed in the final defense call if the client agrees with that they will they they will accept they will become more happy and ready to sign a contract with you for uh, so that actually they will give you a uh, say um, project your uh, it company so after giving the it company actually now it is a uh, now the project is started so the one project manager i mean from on shore or offshore will get started so the offshore uh, manager will coordinate with the client and uh, off sorry uh, on site manager will coordinate with the client in the location and offshore manager will manage a team in the offshore team like india so uh, first managers are determined and based on the experience and everything whether they are uh, pmp certified or sap activate management certified all these things matter and how much years of uh, project management experience then actually they will uh, search for the uh, next level assistant managers or lead uh, project leads or then the team leads and then the senior consultants and consultant the hierarchy goes like that okay and so the 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 project preparation phase actually the uh, all the i mean initial level requirement are gathered based on that the project team is set and the project uh, key is initiated i mean created in some company's portal that will have a project management tool initiated so on so date uh, the project is initiated which are the guys to be uh, inducted in the project what are the documents to be delivered I mean whether we need to have a induction for each uh, and every uh, consultants joining the project right so the that is the duty of the project manager to do all the thing and our project manager will uh, do um, uh, the documentation actually what are the what are the scope uh, uh, available and how much cost for each and every activity what are the technical features and functional features right so that is called statement of work can be prepared by the project manager and can be circulated with the top level guys and after the so top level guys agreed that actually uh, then it is uh, uh, shared with the client and get their approval right and even actually during after final defense call we are going to uh, discuss with the uh, commercial team in before yellow pad and then defense call actually they will normally this uh, uh, bid team and the sales team will discuss with the commercial team so this much cost is okay whether the company will uh, accept that top level management is accepting or not so it will be uh, communicated to the top level management right so uh, vice president uh, say uh, directors all these levels actually can be i mean they all they will involve with the commercial team everything will come into the common understanding and they will issue the cost or that is called commercial to the client if the client accepts then you get a project right if the sign of happen so the project first of all, pro- project preparation is nothing but for getting a project and then actually working on the uh, setting the project uh, team and then working with the stakeholders so a uh, user business users and your team everything right top level management client business heads everything to be introduced and we need to create a team uh, we need to in, in, in normally in excel actually they will find they will uh, uh, i mean induct the people and actually uh, for getting communication between the team we they will we need to create a, uh, i mean email address address and then phone numbers how soon they are going to be contacted whether the particular person is available on weekend if any urgent issues so everything will be uh, documented and what is the scope everything so after this phase actually say the uh, i mean we need to discuss with the client right we already discuss with the client what are the hardware requirements whether it is available provided by uh, client on what date what are the software requirements which team is basis team is required which landscape is required what is the basic uh, configuration set bc set to be determined everything can be discussed and uh, once all the team has been formed and training required training has been given and normally actually for uh, say for example in big clients actually they will they will request the it teams to undergo their uh, training 
courses in their uh, uh, in their uh, actually portal actually dedicated uh, we can call actually the the citric network or junifer network or dod whatever it may be it depends on the client actually so this it vendor will get access after clearing some test or kind of thing actually they will writing writing an exam and the the particular application owner or a business head or a part of for a particular p2p or uh, o2c or uh, uh, plant to uh, produce right this guys will actually uh, and the, each module will stream will have a uh, particular application owner they will approve that and then they will uh, inform the security team to provide access for the sap systems the ticketing tool all the websites require require required and all the uh, share points required to verify the go through the documents on the business process and activities and whether actually the project team has to upload any project deliverable documents or not so all, everything will be i mean all the access can be given during the project preparation phase actually so everyone is actually so now well to do with the uh, uh, means by starting the work with the uh, on a particular client right client area uh, for implementing sap or migration or upgrading or uh, uh, whatever it may be okay so uh, uh say after some sometimes actually project will come in the data migration area so for that also uh, the I mean we are, the consultant should be ready for that and then actually once everything is all set then actually uh, we need to go through the the uh, i can say the the system uh, readiness check and everything right the basis will do their uh, say if whether it is uh, everything will be uh, preliminarily discussed okay, whether the basis scope is in with the client client can take the they they, they have their own dedicated deployment uh, basis team or not or uh, normally actually in big clients actually they will have a dedicated uh, i can say actually deployment team having uh, the resource in all the streams mmp psd qm basic security and all this app app development everything so they will coordinate with the it vendors uh, it vendor team in getting the uh, all the technical business process they if the it it vendor consultant right actually like uh, ibm or accenture they want to contact with a business to discuss on that this a uh, deployment team in a particular pro- client company will act as a bridge between this it team and the business community right actually business leads and business users had to get the requirement and document it so they will act as a bridge and guide uh, like a global business solutions so in some company actually when i am working in some uh, projects like ac nees and they have a gbs team in that actually they will coordinate between the uh, our uh, uh, tcs team and then actually with ac nees and team and everything so this will be uh, uh, more useful when working in a big client and also due to uh, say la- uh, regional basis actually we need a translator not say for example uh, in case of uh, i can say uh, uh, latin american countries or middle east or africa or so- uh, southeast asian countries like uh, japan korea china all these thing right uh, asian countries or russia so there we need a uh, some uh, language translator which help uh, help the consultants to uh, communicate with the business user so what consultant is doing actually they will communicate with the end user and end user what end user is communicating we are they will in turn inform the uh, itv it team so they will act as a bridge so uh, the important thing is actually the, the the language translator should have basic knowledge of sap to express to client as well as uh, the it team right so this uh, system software system requirement what uh, sap patch should be updated what is a uh, connector say in case of uh, process integration or uh, process orchestration is required so what uh, connector soap connector they are going uh, going to be used or if it is not a pa why is it a rfc connection uh, existing between to connect uh, sap with the non the third party system so we need to have a uh, final uh, round of uh, confirmation on all these things right so is the on the system uh, requirements and everything software or hardware or infrastructure whatever it may be so what is the escalation level how, how much priority we need to work on that how how soon we need to fix any issues so how we are going to structure the uh, uh, i can say uh, the uh, project phases or uh, realization or uh, what do you call actually the configuration and everything and then we need to study the as is by getting the doc- uh, requirement from the be- from the business team if the as is normally done through one to one uh, discussion 
or involving an experienced consultant to discuss with the uh, business and client team and get the requirement or uh, say uh, online tra- communications or uh, uh, say actually normally it is called actually uh, kick off meetings and everything or uh, fit gap analysis meetings fit gap workshops and then actually so uh, uh, i normally practice one is a questionnaire model actually they will send a question to the business user and they will uh, to the i mean it is circulated to the business head and business head will discuss with the business user and get the answers and then they will again share with your uh, business analyst or business consultant and they will in turn uh, share with the uh, functional sap functional consultant and sap technical consultants to get the solution get the points or addressed or not if, or if they want a more detail again they will discuss further and they will do communication right actually either through the business consulting when project is started actually the project team can directly interact with the uh, i can say directly interact with the uh, i mean business right so uh, now actually uh, we got all the requirements for as is studied now what is to be done that is to be document to be studied at uh, in the to be document actually what business is asking what are the mappings required everything to be done and as is document will give the current existing process right so what are the things available and what is to be done uh, can be done can be specified in the to be document so these as is and to be are more important to get the gap say from the standard sap how much percentage of deviation where the client is having their uh, customized process is there any say po is created by whom or it is either created by manually or generated through any program or any specialized customized business process the client is having uh, say for example normally in sap actually we are not having gate bus generation so but if the client wants uh, say uh, vendor material is coming actually whether they need to create a gate pass and uh, thereby allowing uh, the gate pass uh, i mean with the delivery chalan and gate pass actually they are entering the uh, the store uh, normally called stores and uh, in sap terms of warehouse right a uh, storage location fair space right where the inventory inventory material is stored so before doing goods receipt they will be placed in one temporary location after goods receipt they will be placed to the final location so the, for this actually gate pass is required to enter any company manufacturing company side the vendor or a transporter will uh, send the delivery show the delivery chalan and the product all the features and everything so the security people in the gate or the gate person will check everything and he will issue a gate pass and then actually it will be that uh, the stocks are moved to the internal uh, stores or a warehouse in a particular manufacturing unit whatever it may be so these things actually can be created using the customized smart form or scripts thereby we are generating once a product is verified in the gate it can generate a gate pass uh, right printed out so for that actually we need in sap we need a customized smart form i mean small either smart forms or scripts whatever it may be latest technology whatever we are having say it is norm uh, currently actually open text is integrated with sap s4 han or icc so actually we can generate the output there right print out there so spool is generated from sap and then actually it is uh, the print out is taken from the uh, open text okay so uh, now these are the gaps so okay actually how much percentage of uh, uh, moisture is available in the um, uh, coal uh, in a in case of power plant so they will exact the i mean they will uh, separate the moisture and uh, measure the dry and for that actually we need uh, some customized process in the in the power plant or any manufacturing unit so those things uh, actually are uh, to uh, calculate the exact coal weight and what the percentage of moisture involved in it we need to subtract the uh, the exact uh, the coal pa- weight minus the moisture content right that will give the actual coal weight so uh, for this actually we need a customized uh, program is required to calculate everything say for example a lorry is coming and then it is measured in the wayment uh, uh, yeah, room with the wayment bridge actually so they will calculate the tar weight and the stock with the full uh, the, the the 
the truck with the full load right so all these things can be after lo loading and unloading they will calculate that and then that will be integrated to sap through a i mean some uh, customized connector and in case actually nowadays actually sap will have a i mean a standardized connector available in case of uh, uh, new gen technologies we have uh, uh, sorry ewm and everything actually we have a standardized sap supported interfaces are available so we other than that we have dot net connector or java connector or whatever it may be some interface is required pa interface is required lot of things rfc connection is required all these things are there so we need to find these gaps and we need to identify these gaps either through your development i mean i have been by, by coding or some functions we can actually address it through a customization or a configuration so maximum actually whatever standard sap uh, it is supporting then actually those are addressed with the standard sap and the gap normally it, uh, it is a deviation from the standard sap so that can be done through a function module or you exit user exit or customer exit some coding is required bappy baddy something is required from the standard sap so it needs a, a developer assistance right so that is very important so you need to utilize them to create a customized program and everything. so you need to be more sure and then you need document everything in the blueprint what is the business process what is the business of the uh, I mean the name of the client the name of the project and then actually what is the business process they are following and what is the how many uh, company codes how many plant and how many uh, purchase organization or storage location purchase group and then how what are the different types of purchase order what is the existing process what is the deviation what is the customized report they are having z process we they are having any z process what is a z process what are the, what are the st- available smart forms available number ranges and then actually see what are the different types of inventory uh, methodologies goods issues goods received and uh, goods received with respect to production order or a uh, purchase order or issuing to cost center issuing to scrap all this process can be documented in a systematic way so that actually uh, if uh, any person in case of uh, in uh, a, a consultant who is doing configuration during the implementation or a support person after the go live has been done the application module uh, the app i mean uh, application management uh, team right actually support team will go through the uh, blueprint then only they can get the what is the existing business functionality available with the client process right so business blueprinting is more required and it is properly documented in case of sap projects or no any any project actually it is more much more required business block uh, blueprint is doc is derived from after studying the assets and to be and find the gap and we need to identify the gap either through a development program or through a customized uh, customization or a configuration whatever it may be standard or development and some few gaps can be cannot be identified or cannot be close in that case actually those gaps cannot be uh, in, uh, cannot be uh, close so we need to tell the consultants that uh, we need to inform the business saying that actually we cannot uh, achieve this uh, requirement customized requirement whatever you are following so we cannot uh, solve that in sap so those gaps are forced close we cannot achieve the exact requirement from the client so all this can be discussed with the client and the document is properly documented and get a sign off from the uh, business user okay and during uh, one important thing actually during the kick off meeting actually we need to uh, do kick off meeting right after that we need to circulate the minutes of meeting right whatever you are discussing uh, on day to day basis with the with the business or uh, your client uh so that should be documented which are all the persons uh, attended the meeting what are the points discussed related to the particular topic say a uh, vehicle by free vehicle or fleet management what are the incoming outgoing outputs what is a process everything should be documented and should be accepted by the business users and business reach and client entire ta- client so uh, after doing that only we are doing uh, the business blueprinting so business blueprinting now uh, we are in the second phase of the uh, sap project management so everything is documented as already told actually what are the important requirement to be mapped or documented in uh, blueprinting sap blueprint right so uh, that i already told so uh, in this call only actually uh, so based on that actually uh, the the sign off will be done by the business user this is done now uh now we need to identify after the blueprinting phase is over that is second phase is over 
so we need to identify which person will do configuration this is quite important thing so uh, whether we can give the uh, activity to a fresher or a junior guy having 3 years experience or a senior person having 6 years experience or a lead consultant so they will uh, the project team will uh, internally segregate their work based on the experience number of years right so if it is a complex thing or any development uh, to be tested uh, or to be uh, coordinated with the develop, uh, development team abap right then the lead consultant will do that and so in some cases senior as a senior associate or senior consultant will do coordination with the business development team and uh, work with the client getting the requirement if any uh, uh, z customization required they will do uh, they will work with the development and everything and normally this junior three level years guys actually normally allotted a yeah, configuration work they will do standard configuration and nowadays actually in you can I mean uh, I mean actually configuration is pretty much simpler actually they can easily go through the uh, google and everything and they can easily uh, get all the uh, all the things configured in the sap systems okay mmp psd qm whatever whatever it may be okay so this is a simple configuration will be handed over to the three years guy and the documentation now actually it is a documentation is very important right actually we need to uh, create a, a functional requirement document or uh, so technical requirement document in some company they uh, call a uh, functional uh, development document or technical tdd technical development uh, document or the functional requirement specification or technical trs technical requirement specification the name may differ but the same uh, the concept is same actually so once the uh, the functional team discussing with the uh, business user or business lead they will schedule a call and then discuss with the client and then actually they will document everything and then after the minutes of meeting was sent to the business uh, team actually after their acceptance we will uh, create a functional requirement specification and before doing functional requirement specification we need to request the user team to send uh, user requirement specifications and based on that the functional requirement specification has been uh, created once that is actually uh, created we, uh, we need to send the client saying that actually the functional requirement specification has been created can you please validate it and give your approval so it will go for workflow of approval kind of thing say uh, the editor is the one who the it person who created uh, it team who is created the document if a if a fdd or frs something so then actually the viewer will be the uh, or validator will be the client person or a, a manager of this it team or somehow it will be or the other uh, the it team manager then actually uh, approver will be the business lead right who knows who is a very experienced guy they will approve the uh, frs then actually we need to share this frs or fdd document to the technical abap team to develop a, um, a tdd or trs so this developer team will understand the functional requirement after discussing with the business user or in case if they have a new uh, doubt actually this functional guy will discuss with the user team and get the requirement clarified by the uh, developer and then developer will create a uh, technical requirement specification or technical development document and actually they will in turn actually send to the uh, client technical team even the client having the deployment uh, development team right they will uh, very validate that and uh, give the give their approval right so once frs and trs or fdd or tdd is approved so uh, all, everything all the business level is uh, i mean they they gave uh, approval or acceptance then uh, we need to go for the development right on the customized business process right to fulfill the gap or address the gap and simultaneously we are doing the implementation process right that uh, I mean configuration or customization required is sometimes actually the requirement will be address <coughs> in combination of uh, uh, configuration and then the customization or development work is required to fulfill the business process right so in that case actually we need to have a thorough testing right so once a development has been done or a configuration has been done the particular scenario we need to test in the development uh, that is called actually uh, a unit testing right in some clients actually they have a sound sandbox before getting into the project they will do uh, they will run do configuration all the developments in the sandbox and if it is uh, if it is okay this consultant team will share to the business user saying that we have completed the particular testing can you please validate that 
then based on their approval actually they will uh, send the after the approval they will transport all the configuration or development or customization to the uh, d- uh, development uh, server uh, so normally the configuration will be taken place in the golden client okay so that is a golden client where configuration is take place there actually you cannot do any unit testing that is important and uh, some in some projects actually that the abap will have a de- de- different i mean de- dedicated development server for uh, in the development environment right so they there they, they can code all these things okay so this is the general process so uh, the, we have a separate uh, in development layer itself or environment itself we have separate testing client will be there apart from the golden uh, configuration client so the, the, we will do the configurations and everything actually in the uh, golden client and testing in the uh, unit testing in the development layer in separate box okay say so if a golden client is 100 then the abap development uh, uh, client will be 200 development server and 300 will be your testing client for the unit testing okay so f- for doing before 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 getting into any configuration or development we need to uh, create a, uh, some uh, some ticket or some tool actually where the client will create a, 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 i mean they will create the exact cost for that and then they will create in their it tool and that uh, ticket will be given a ticket or a charm ticket or whatever it be if we, if we are using solution manager then you you need to uh, create a uh, some uh, t- uh, ticket in that so charm uh, they are calling actually then they will issue to our team based on that uh, the solution manager will have different uh, phases we can uh, uh, we can flip the uh, moving to development moving to quality and uh, subject to testing moving to production like that we have and uh, once you create a project in the solution manager or any tool actually that will create a transport in the sap because sap and solution manager are interlinked okay so we have uh, everything mapped with uh, what are the img nodes can be mapped in the solution manager so there from that also you can do configuration in the golden client so uh, similarly similarly actually the tickets can be created which creates a, once that is uh, uh, saved actually it will generate a transport request tr uh, in the sap so we have a, a parent uh, ticket there actually below that we have we can create the configuration and save that in the child request right or a development uh, case in the can be saved in the child uh, uh, thing so actually uh, once your unit testing is over you re- you need to release your child ticket okay not the parent one okay you can release the development the development uh, ticket uh, can be turned as a workbench uh, request and uh, uh, configuration will be a customized request uh, normally in any tool is all men or whatever it may be it is like that so uh, child can be moved to the uh, from the development to your uh, 300 client that is nothing but the development unit testing client there you can test everything you are gonna, you are doing testing uh, of all the uh, scenarios you configured all the developments you have done all the interfaces rise of objects nothing but uh, workflow <coughs> reports interfaces right rise up so uh, then uh, customizations and uh, uh, enhancement uh function modules all these things actually so these is these are normally called actually rise of objects okay and uh, uh this everything to be thoroughly checked in the uh, development unit testing client so once that is done actually we will inform we will flip the uh, charm ticket so that we can uh, move to the quality okay in quality actually you need to um uh, do one initial round of check so consultant from each streams mmwm pphd will do the uh, initial level check and also the development whatever move to the quality will be checked in the quality uh, system uh, na- normally qas and development will be dav or d so dev and quality will be qas system and there actually we can uh, test all this actually whatever uh scenarios and everything we are uh, checking and then actually we will the mm guy wm guy and pp guy sd pm qm all these guys will do a uh, system integration testing and that actually from starting from uh, say customer orders placing the customer order till the issuing the goods to the final customer in sd right 
till that process that is sd uh, pp mm again is the varos management then quality management and then actually again actually placing the finished goods in the warehouse and then issuing the customer everything can be tested uh, in end to end phase through system integration testing or simply integration testing is performed okay and then actually uh, we need to after getting all this configuration or development are working fine in quality we need to arrange a training sessions to the users and business users business leads and everybody to get a sync with our uh, with the sap right whatever uh, configurations or development we need to know we need to uh, give a training document to them train i mean we need to train them and then actually we need to create a training document or user training document to them and based on that they can uh, ask them to practice the sessions in some companies actually before in case of uh, the i mean actually before going to realization normally sap uh, they will give the initial training and most of the projects actually whatever the process they configured right that that uh, part only they are giving a training to the uh, end users or core users or business users so each user will be informed the role so as a core user what he can do as a end user what he can do as a application owner what he can do so all this can be integrated with the with the uh, business team or client team so it uh, people it consultants and it project managers managers and business leads their it leads and it project leads will coordinate with the entire uh, uh, client team and the business users and they will train them after training they will create a test scripts uh in some projects actually the functional consultant can create a test scripts and then actually they uh, they will uh, uh test that and then they will uh inform the business to uh start the uat and in some cases actually the uh, dedicated testing team is there they will uh they will test everything but functional consultant has to prepare a testing document or test scripts to the testing team the, they will do manual testing in uh, quality server and they will update the test scripts and get approval uh, from or sign off from the go ahead from the uh, client business uh, head or some some people from the it team it manager and client manager right actually i have business leads and business manager in client place so this is a normal practice so now actually uh, now we need to plan for the uh, user acceptance test so we need to uh, identify so the users who can easily understood and well understood the business versus those who have already good exposure to the business process can be selected for the uat program and they will be uh, they will uh, they are asked to requested to test the system end to end so we need to the id team will each function model consultants will coordinate with the team and the it project manager will guide all the activities in all the phases and they will coordinate with the uh, client team they will inform the client team as well as the it internal team can be ma- managed by the project manager he will uh, in turn actually co- uh, i mean report uh, will report to his senior manager or a delivery manager who is responsible for the overall uh, project related activities Be- uh, before uh, i mean on top of him actually uh, da- project uh, um uh, director or uh, a program manager all these people are there so they will take a, uh, take the project at a high level so the project manager responsibility is to co- coordinate with the business team and the business heads and the it team so they need to manage it teams okay so that is one thing <coughs> then actually okay and after doing the i mean uh, in uat the normally the business will test that and sometimes we need to cooperate with them and then we need to teach each and every step sometimes or if, uh, if a intelligent user is there he, he will do that and actually then actually uh, in one to one sessions through uh, the chat or some uh, sometimes actually the client team will go to the client place and coordinate with them so uh, that depends on the uh, the the, uh, the discussion and the facilities provided by the client and the 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 the, the, st- the stake actually the it team it team is taking or it firm is taking right whether to work it from the their office or client office okay and that is discussed in the uh, i mean i can say during the project initiation phase they will decide everything 
based on so nowadays due to pandemic actually we are everybody is working on uh, remote locations right actually from their own town or some work from home they are doing so the case is different right actually so uh, the fine actually so it is about the current situation right normally i am telling okay so then actually uh, after uh, i mean testing of each scenario or each step they will find some defects or they are finding some errors coming in the system so this can be uh, they will create a ticket and this can be identified by the uh, it people by creating uh, by referencing to the it ticket created in their uh, client tool the the business user will either mail or they will do one to one discussion through chat or some measure okay or directly the consultant will work in the it uh, team uh, user department and they will coordinate okay they will create ticket and everything and the it person will uh, help them to sort out the issues they will fix the issues if any configuration or purchase group anything entry is missing then they will uh, add that particular purchase group in the from the development server then transport to quality and then they will uh, the it consultant will test first and then they if they everything is okay they will document it and share with the business user and then they will start the do the uat and all these things once all the test has been done the uh, we need to uh, request the business user to provide sign off once the business user is providing sign off then it will be routed to the uh, their manager or business lead and then id manager and the overall uh, client manager is there he will approve that this can be either through a manual document sign off by a pen or through hp alm we have a uh, I mean uh, testing tools are there actually so project management tools are there so you can uh, update the scripts there and upload the scripts there and the workflow trigger has been done so in hp alm we can upload all the fdds frs td trs tdd everything right so can be updated in the um uh, in the hp alm tool okay and one important thing actually before transporting to uh, the 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 development changes or customization changes the frs and trs should be approved by the business and then it is to be uploaded in the hp alm tool then only we can able to move the flip the charm and then actually move the uh, developments or customization configurations to the quality uh, system that is very important once we as uat has been done actually so uh, uat is successful we will get a sign off so client agreed to move all the pro- uh the configurations and development to the uh development or they will have some pre production server there you can move and then actually they will do one round of testing there actually by the client and then they will they will do uh movement in particular date so now actually uh, once the uat is done then the we need to ask the either the it team or the business user will do the regression testing okay so after uat we need to do regression testing the regression testing is nothing but whether the new changes development or coding or configuration will have an impact on the existing setup right say if you are doing roll out for china and if uh, if you are doing to the moving to the development or uh, configuration uh, developments uh, that tier if transported to the quality whether it will affect affect the existing russian uh, country related configuration so uh, the output are changing if any output are changing then we need to identify so to ensure there is no change or in no impact in the existing configuration by the new configuration transport we need to do regression testing okay and then we have volume testing stress testing the say at the maximum peak uh, peak hour how many volume of data can be processed how many users can be uh, allowed to uh, work on a particular uh, i mean critical hours right in morning time normally all the business will come or a big peak business period how much users can be allowed whether the sap system is able to process that or any performance issues are coming and how many data due to data uh, how many uh, t- time it spends for running a report or running a transaction this is called a stress analysis volume uh, data volume analysis everything can be done right actually normally in google actually they will do alpha testing beta testing and all these things right and then they are they are releasing beta versions right actually how in particular however actually in peak hours how many users can operate whether the system is slowing down or it it is operating in a normal performance rate normal speed or not no those those things can be performed so now we are, we did actually unit testing in development and then normal time one more check in 
quality after transport movement then integrate system integration testing and then uh, the user will do the uat and after that regression testing stress testing stress analysis and everything and then volume the data volume da da testing lot of i mean uh, black box testing lot of things are there each uh, testing uh, the types of testing depends on the business uh, business the company is doing and uh, say pharma and all these things actually they will have a uh, i mean regulated policy they need to have a proper uh, testing for the entire change till production so the the, the transport movement is very slow in case of uh, pharma life sciences and healthcare industry right in case of sab projects okay and now we all the testing can be done and now we are uh, good to good to move for the uh, production uh, move that is called simply called go live right so now actually we are in the third phase of sap implementation uh, i mean uh, sap imp implementation phases we are in the third phase so uh, first we uh, discuss about the uh, project preparation then blueprinting and then actually now uh, we have discussed the realization phase so with this uh, phase actually i am stopping this video next i am uh, starting in a new video thanks for watching my video this is gv shyokumar signing off Thanks friends